Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. I thought we did it quite a bit in this video, so I thought I would do it again where I showed you where we're going, where we're headed in this video. The last video we did this, right? So super cute, love that. So in this video, we are doing the other side of the fin. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly what we came up with. So we just matted this page and um, we have a little swing embellishment there and then we have a side pocket insert. Then when you flip it over, you have this beautiful layout. Here is a pocket, not a pocket. Here is a page that flips out. This flips open. There's a sweet little envelope with a magnet closure and a wax seal and this layout. So if you wanna see how we got this, then stay tuned. So we are working in the Basically Amazing printable scrapbook album and we're working on size C. There are four sizes, A, B, C, D, and we are working on size C. And this here is the prototype that I made um, and we're kind of closely following this. So the paper collection that we're using is the Darcel paper collection by Prima, right? It's super pretty. And so if you want to see a flip through of the all of the prototype albums for all four sizes that are in this set of templates, I'll put that exact, um, oops, <laughs> I will put that exact video right there and down below in the description box. But there is a very specific playlist just for this album, a step-by-step, -step, where I take you through each each individual step and show you how to all use all the different bits and pieces that are part of this template that I will link that playlist up there and down below. So in the last video, we did this page here, which I love, super cute. Um, in the video before that, we did the, I just, I don't know. I'm just really digging, I'm just really digging how this is, is, is working out. So we're going to be adding um, to this side of the fin. We're going to be adding a few pages to this side of the fin, but they're not going to be as thick as the first set. So this is the, this is on one side of the fin. <laughs> so all of this is going on on this side of the fin. Now we're going to add to this side of the fin. I have purchased some new products and they came in, well most of it came in, none of my paper, paper collections have come in yet, but most of the products that I ordered that I wanted to try out have come in. So I might be during this video on it, I might be pulling a few of those out if, if need be, if, if I'm using that type of thing. So we, you are going to get to see some new things um, in this video and we're going to be trying them out and uh, you guys just let me know what you think. So let me tell you what we're going to need from the templates. Let me move my, this is where we're so far. This is how far, this is how much we've got going on in this album so far, you guys. Um, it's getting, it's getting chunky, but that's okay. I like it chunky. So we are going to be needing, oh, the set, the templates are available in my Etsy shop. We are using the grungy wood and the text backgrounds. Um, I'll have a link down below. Um, they are a digital product, not a, a physical product. So this is my workbook. I did not make this one on camera, but I made it exactly the same way I made the last one that I made in video. And I will link that playlist up here because it shows you different ways that I've made my workbooks in the past and in the exact way I made this one, just not this one. Does that make sense? I made this one the exact same way I made the last one in that playlist. But anyway, okay, so page 9C is the main base page for this size album. So I have printed three of those. One's going to be a pocket and two are going to be pages. Um, and I printed them on 80 pound cardstock. This is linked in my Amazon list special for this album. Um, if you want to check it out, it's a picture of, a, of like a ream of paper and it says color on the front of it. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and leave that marked. I'm probably going to need to use the mat. And then I printed off one page or did I? Oh, sorry about that. I thought I muted my... There we go. Now we're on silent mode. Then I printed one page of 17 BD on white cardstock because we're going to need one of these for the flip. So, I'm going to put this aside. And I'm going to grab my paper trimmer. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and cut this one of these away. We just need one of these. I'm going to put this in my collection of things to use. And I do have them here, and I do look through them. Um, 
when I'm planning out pages, so I didn't want you to think I forgot about them, because I don't. So for this small piece, we are just going to be needing the one long tab there. So I'm going to cut all three of the other ones away. Okay, so for two of these pages, we just need this tab left on the pages. So we're going to cut all three of the other ones away for on two of these pages. Okay, so I've got those two pages cut. I've got that page cut. So on the third page, so this is going to be a pocket. So I'm going to cut the long tab off. There. And I'm going to leave all three of the other ones. I'm going to shorten this one just a little bit. because My printer sucks my paper in super fast, and it starts printing um, at the wrong time. Or however you want to look at it really. <laughs> if it's the wrong time or the printer sucked it in too fast. Either way, you'll need one that looks like this and two that just have one long tab on them. I'm having a bit of an allergy issue today, so you'll have to forgive me. I've been taking allergy medicine, but I don't know. Anyway, so this is a We Are scoreboard and this is a pencil a Teflon pencil stylus um, linked both of these are linked in my Amazon if you want to check them out the link is down below I like it that I can make special lists for each one of my product uh, products I like it that I can make special lists for each one of my projects because I use different things in different projects so it's really cool that um, I'm, out, I'm allowed to do that on Amazon. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna score all these lines. And then we are going to fold that score, burnish that score. We're gonna flip it over, fold that score the other way and burnish. We're gonna do that to all the pieces. And then we're gonna ink them up with Distress Oxide Walnut Stain. Now here's where one of my new products came in. I decided to try the scrapbook.com blender tools because they are different. They have like that domed, they have a domed um, felt thingy, not felt, uh, foam applicator. Now I know it's great for blending, but is it great for the edges? That's what I'm gonna try out. So I'm just gonna open this up. Also, with my order, you know, with scrapbook.com, you get free stuff, like when you order a certain amount or order, order certain things. Um, I got a free, and you get to pick, of course. So I got a free Spellbinders Jane Davenport stamp set and die set. It says, go make something stamp and die set is what it says by Jane Davenport. But it's cute. It says, get off the computer, go make something, choose happiness. I just thought it was cute. I just thought it was cute. So I got, to, I got that for free. I just thought I would share that just real quick. So anyway, back to this. I don't know how good it's going to get the edges. So let's, let's give it a try. Let's find out. Let's go on the back side here on this white. Obviously, if it works out, I'll have to figure out a different way to hold it in my, um, in my tray here. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem to be good for this type of inking. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. We'll have to keep trying it just to see. I feel like I'm working harder to get this ink on here. I mean, probably too, because there's no ink on the... Let's get some ink on there. All right, I mean, I know it's good for um, like blending inks 
out. Like, let me let me grab a scrap. Let me just use one of my scraps that I just cut off. How about that? Let's use one of the small scraps. Yes. Let me grab something. So I know it's good for like if you're wanting to like have a soft blend out. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe not. Mine looks like it's kind of streaky, but maybe I've got something on my applicator. All right, so that's nice, I guess. That's, you know, that's super soft. What is this? Let's see what this one does. Yeah. It does about the same thing. It's not, it's a little bit more, it's not as soft, I guess. So this will be great for blending, obviously. I'm just not sure it'll be great for what I do. But we'll keep testing it out and see. I'm just going to keep, I'm going to try, I'll keep using it. Oops. I'll keep trying it in this video and see, um, see if I like it. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to do that for all of these pages and then I'll be right back. Front and back for all, well, except for this one. Um, you don't need to ink the back side. You can just ink that edge and you'll be fine. Okay. And then I'll be right back. Everything's inked up, ready to go. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. Got the back of that. So now we're going to put tape. Let's get some tape. This is three eighths of an inch score tape. Now I've got little bits of that ink pad all over me. Um, we're going to put it on the tabs, on the pocket, all three tabs of the pocket. And those are Tim Holtz tonic scissors. Oh, this tab, the tape's too big. So I'm gonna have to get, oops, quarter of an inch tape for this tab. This is scrapbook.com tape. So good value, like blue. That tape, the burnish. So there's the pocket. See how the, all the little bits must be from me like scrubbing on the, on the ink pad. All right, so and then this little pocket, um, it doesn't matter, just pick a side. I'm gonna just put uh, the three eighths of an inch on this tab here. And it does not matter since there's no pattern on there. And then, um, let's see. Um, this is going to be on the outside, right facing each other like this. So, doesn't matter. Just put tape on both of these, just on one side. Like that. So, so these two are going to be just like this, and then this one, I'm going to notch corners at the top, and then I'm going to cut clear across that intersection there because I don't want any bulk, as let, well, I'm trying not to create bulk anyway, for my pocket. Flip this over, burnish these tabs the right way. I don't usually cut my corners that severe, but anyways, it is what it is. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of assemble this together before we put it in the book. So they're gonna go like this. So this one is gonna attach to the, this will attach to the fin this will attach to this one, and this will attach to here. Yes, exactly what I was thinking, I think. Yep. So, oh, new tool, new tool. Now I've been using this one, right? 
and I told you I ordered another one. This one, I'm, it's, it's just, I don't know, I'm having a hard time. So they have this sticky piercer. This is We Are, it's a We Are 2 and it's, it's giant too, just like this one. But it has like a sticky end, kind of like the um, quick stick precision pickup and placement tool, right? Kind of like this. So you use this to pick up like um, rhinestones and things to add to your projects. So I'm assuming that's what this is for. So let's go ahead and open this up and give this one a try. Because it's like a, it's got a longer piercer on the end there than the other ones that I have. Do I have them sit right here? Yeah, I'll grab them in just a minute. Let me get this out of this package. So I guess if I wanted to, I could just customize my little thingy, my bob here. Oh, come on. What is going on? Why can't I get this out? There we go. But this has lids, which is cool. Let me set that package aside. I might need that to show you guys in future. So, oh, uh, oh, well, I was a little surprised by this. Because there we go. Watch it. <laughs> what? Okay. All righty. Let's go ahead and put that lid on there before I mess it up. Um. Anyway, so look at. They're the same, they're the same, so if I wanted to, I guess I could take this little spatula thingy and this little sticky thingy and put that together and have these little picky tools. That's actually probably not a bad idea. But let me work on, let me use this just like this for now, just to see if I like it better. So, the whole point is I was getting ready to remove the backing of this tape. And... So this, okay, pocket's going here. See, look, look at it. It's because I did this with that tool. Tag on it. Oh. So I've got my edges. All right, so now I'm just gonna line it up in the corner here without going over that score. I'm walk it all the way down. Then I move the backing off of both of these. Oh. Well, see, I didn't even need to ink that side, did I? Oh well. And it should fit perfectly. You shouldn't have to line it up. So. And it did. Woohoo! All right, we want to burnish that down. Really, really, really good. And then now we're going to add this piece to this piece. So I'm going to remove the backing and I'm going to match it up. Whoops, I'm going to try to match it up all the way down like that. And I think I did a good job. I did burnish that into place. So this might be a better idea assembling these pages before we stick them in the book. Burnish that. Burnish that. Right. And then this piece is going to, I think I'm going to go ahead, well, I could put it in here like this. That's what I'm going to do, I think. So, because, well, if I line it up on this edge, yeah, I'm going to stick it in the pocket. I'm going to do that. Yeah. So, we don't have to notch these, but I'm just going to just, just a tiny bit. This is my garbage bow. I've been getting asked about this again. My garbage bow and my ink station, both of those were made with my Crafty Companion. And... Um, I will link that exact video up here and down below if you want to check that out. All right, so I'm going to try, so I'm going in this little side pocket here, I'm going to try to center it up 
but you know how good I am at that. I am not good at that, in case you're wondering. In case you're new here, I'm not good at centering. <laughs> so, it'll go like this. So that way it's, it'll fold over that page easily. Okay, so we've got that. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Oh, you know what? One, one thing I didn't already prepare was the side pocket insert, but we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so let's go into our book here. So we've got this exposed fin here. There's the other side of this fin. So I'm going to take this, remove the backing off of here. And I am going to line this up. Let me see, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna line this up and stick her down. Look at this. Look what I found on the floor. Isn't that cute? It's a heart. It's, it's the backing of the tape, but it's a heart. You see that, you guys? I just stepped on it. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. <laughs> I can already tell that I'm going to like this pokey thingy. Oh, I was going to show you the other thing. Um, I'm used to this type of pokey thingy than this type of pokey thingy. So I am going to go ahead and add this one to my Amazon list if I can find it. Um, and I'll also link it at Scrapbook dot com as well but here's my other pokey see how tiny compared right and then um oh here's tim holtz i like this longer one so yes 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 so that could alleviate both of these except that except for that stylus that alleviate alleviate this could take the place of both of these, except for this, but I don't, I rarely ever use that. But anyway, so I can already tell I'm going to like this, this tool, just so you know. All right, so we've now got this in place. I'm going to go ahead and give that a little burnish. I'm going to burnish it that away. I'm going to flip it this away, and I'm going to push even harder from this side because it's flatter back there, right? So first thing I'm going to do is add my magnet. In there goodness all right i'm grabbing my crafty tray come on my crafty tray with my magnets and these tin caps tin caps is what they're called somebody was telling me and somebody was questioning me about it tin caps is what they're called but they're not tin i don't know why they're called tin caps it doesn't specifically say on the package what metal they are but on amazon they um it says it's steel so just fyi um, these are linked to my Amazon. All right, so let's see if there's going to be any sort of... Whoa! Did you see how that grabbed that super fast? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick a magnet there. <laughs> that is what we are going to do. Now I just need to decide. Um, there's only going to be... There's going to be one layer. Or no, there's going to be two layers here. And one layer back here, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the magnet here. So I'm going to put those back up. I'm going to stick it right there, but then I'm going to just add the tape to the back of that and attach it to the little small flap. So what do you, how do y'all feel about tools? I mean, I feel like they're a good investment. Don't you feel like they're a good investment? If, if you're not constantly repeating yourself with the same tool over and over and over like I do. <laughs> I'm just trying to find the best options, you know? So I'm, I'm hoping that this is going to be, this will work. Because I just need it to like hold this closed while we go back. And, isn't that cool that it holds onto that? That is so awesome. Maybe not once we've got everything matted, but right now it works. So I think there's only going to be one layer between one layer here and one layer here. So I'm thinking we can just do a tin cap. 
same thing. I'm going to attach that to the magnet. Then I'm going to add a piece of tape behind this. I'm going to remove that backing. Right, so that just is a magnet saver. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more tape over top. You don't have to do that. but So yeah, so there's that. Okay, so let's come back to this page here and let's start doing our matting. Okay, so we're going to need a full page mat and I'm going to, I've already picked up my paper, so I'm grabbing the mat for the main base page that's on 9C, so the mat is on 56C. But again, I always cut my mats out and I attach them to the main base that they mat in my workbook just to keep it or organized. So I need that for now. So I'm literally just gonna trace this out. Oh wait, I did go ahead and before I do that, I did go ahead and cut my mat, trace my mat and cut my mat for the side pocket insert. So that is page 33C. So I just did it just like I did all the other ones. Um, just cut it out of black, so I traced it onto my black cardstock and cut it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. It does add a little bit of stability, which I like. So that's just Recollections 65 pound cardstock. So, all right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to trace it on my pencil. Trace it. I'm going to cut it out. And I'm going to ink it up, and then I'll be right back. All right, so this is ready to go. So this is just going to be simple. We're just going to basically leave it like this, just like in my prototype. And I'm just going to do a little bit of um, a little bit of just use a little bit of an embellishment here. Let's see what did I picked out for that. Everything is figure outable. <laughs> that sounds like how I talk. And I'm not sure figure outable is a word. But it is today. So let me put these back. I had separated these out because these are ones I know I'm going to be using on different, you know, different uh, spreads and in the cover and stuff. So that way I didn't accidentally use them somewhere else. And the only reason I can do that is because I already have the prototype made. So I'm thinking, um, since I used brads before, should I use brads again? I think maybe. I think maybe. Let me ink this up really quick. I mean, I think this is probably fine. Oh, look, I've already ripped it. I think this kind of blending tool is fine for little small things like that um, and for blending, but I'm not sure I'm going to like it for inking my edges. We'll see. So what do you think? You think I should go ahead and try to do the brad thingy? Let me find my brads. I need to leave my brads out. I keep putting them up. All right, I could do a brad on each side, maybe, just cause. Or I can do a brad on ones. Ooh, should I do a brad and then that way it's kind of like, ooh. I mean, this is different than what I did. I could maybe do a brad and it could be movable. What do we think about that? So if you wanted to add a photo underneath it, that's kind of fun. Let's do that. I'm going to put these in my stuff where I can reach them easy. All right, I need to poke a hole. Let me get my new pokey. My new pokey tool. And... I'm just going to go right in the center. Boop. Oh, you know what? I should probably go through both pieces. Everything is figure outable. I like that. Should I get closer to the edge? It's raining. Can you guys hear that? Ooh, these are giant. I forgot. These are giant brads. They're not little baby brads. Right, so now this can be moved around. Ah. All right, now I just need to not glue that. Oh, I guess I should glue the um, the brad. All right, so this is just two pieces of quarter of an inch fun foam glued together. 
just to make a thick foam pad for me to poke, to poke, because I like to poke. Ouch. Oh, my elbow's coming back, flaring up again. All right, so I, um, I kind of feel like I need to use, um, I also feel like I need to flatten that out a little bit. All right, this is just my scotch tape runner. I'm just going to do that. Let's see what happens. Whoa. I just noticed there's like a honeycomb pattern in that pink paper. Do you see that? Huh. I never noticed that. Alrighty. Focus, Jennifer, focus. Alright, so let's go ahead and mat this. And I'm just going to leave it like this. I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to put a photo on there or anything. Sometimes your eye just needs a place to rest something pretty to look at, but you could put a photo, like literally you could take one of your photo mats and stick it under there like that. Super cute, super, super, super cute, I love it. So anyway, so that's a little bit different than what my prototype, what I did in my prototype, but I like it. I like it that it's, I like it that it's um, movable. Okay, so then that goes over there like that, so. Let's start with this outside part first, because I have a plan for that. I have already picked out my elements because, I don't know, I'm just trying to be an overachiever like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this piece under here, and it's different than my prototype. I'm going to have that piece under here. And then maybe, maybe, oh, I need to, I need to mat that first. And then these are the four by six journaling cards. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do this or this. I guess or this. This one's actually supposed to go this way, but you really can't tell. I think it's pretty, you know. But if I do this one, I can use some of my ephemera pieces, you know, to spruce that up. I think I like that one better. But I do need to get a black photo mat. And I've already got some cut. I thought I had some cut. Well, I'll have to cut some more. But the photo mat for this page is on 64 BD. So I'm going to go ahead and cut, um, cut a whole page again. And I'll be right back. Because I might need it for the back side as well. So again, I cut the two and then the two. So these are meant for three by four. These are meant for four by six. So I went ahead and cut a whole sheet. Um, and I think I just need one. I'm not 100%. I'm, I'm, I forget what I'm doing on the back side of this. But I don't forget. I know what I'm doing. I just, <laughs> not there yet. All right, so let me go ahead and I'm going to trace this out. I want this image up here. And I want to I wanna show you. I'm kind of doing the exact opposite of what I did in my prototype. I want to show you because... I used a background design that's not that we're not using um, in this album. Am I am I actually marking? Yes. When I made my prototype, I used like four different, four or five different background designs. So, see, there's that page we just did. Um, see, everything is figure outable, but now I put it over here and it's movable. But this is stuck down. So. I did a dark blue here on this flap. Oh, look, I had it further down. Oh, well. Um, and then I fussy cut this out of that paper, right? And then I had used the ledger background. And I really liked that combination. I really liked the contrast. So that's, I'm just doing the exact opposite of this. And I'm not doing any fussy cutting. So that's, that's good. So that's kind of what my prototype. And I wish I'd have thought about that because I liked being able to see that image. But again, it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So that's kind of what we're doing. So I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to ink it up and then I will be right back. Okay. So now I've got this cut out, inked up. So that's going to go there, right? This is going to go here. This is going to go here like that. And then I was thinking about 
adding these on here. Of course, I'm going to have to do a little bit more fussy cutting. Where are my scissors? Um, just because there's too much white edge for me. Sometimes it's okay. It just depends on the situation. And I think I'm going to cut all that off. I don't particularly need all that. So does anybody enjoy fussy cutting? Does anybody, is this like their go-to relaxation thing? It's not really my go-to. I mean, it's okay. But the easiest way for me to fussy cut is to turn the paper and not my scissors. Sometimes I turn my scissors. It just really depends. So you just slow and steady. Do I want to leave that on there? We just slow and steady. Squeeze your scissors down and turn your paper that you're fussy cutting. Oh, I'm going to cut that off. And it does make for a smoother cut. I'm not going to lie. Oops. And it and you can you can go a lot faster that way too. There. So I was thinking this could be on here somewhere. Maybe maybe over here like this. I know I don't really want to cut any of it off, so I might not. I might just leave it. And then I thought this was cute because it has the photo corners, but I am going to cut, and it's a little raggedy jaggedy. So I'm going to I'm going to cut some of this off too. All right, so I'm going to ink these up. Those are Cutty Bee scissors, by the way. I will go ahead and link these down below in the description box if you want to check them out. All right, so this is going to go here, right? And then I think that's cute to that to go up there. And then the, I just need to figure out where I'm going to put this. I could do it like like I did, put it on part of it, and then cut it off, and then put it on the other part. You know, like then, like turn it over here, or vice versa. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, you do want to use liquid glue, I think, when you're doing stuff like this, because it's like intricate. This is art glitter glue. I don't know why I just put glue over that whole thing. Okay, so. hoping it wouldn't land that way and put it down here I think that's cute I just took that um, four by six journaling card to another level I like it and then this I thought this would be cute. Because this would be great. This would be a great place to journal. I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to put that on there straight, I think. Well, I don't know that. I usually don't ever put my glue on that away, but okay. Well, I'm just in a mood today, I think. Okay. 
is I'm going to go ahead and attach this down to this journaling card. I mean, to this mat. <laughs> I need to ink those edges. Do not put this down yet, Jennifer. Do not, do, do not, do not, do not. Okay, now you can. Well, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the flat there. ahead I'm going to attach this down because I'm going to leave it just like that again this would be great you could take your white gel pens uh, jelly roll pens I won't, no. here's the scrap I won't write on that because um, I'm getting ready to put it down but you could you could literally just journal with your white jelly roll pens see so I'll link this in my Amazon too. This is Jelly Row Sakura 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 Sakura. I don't know. Number ten. So let's go ahead and take this up. And I'm gonna remove the backing from here because why not? And this over here so it looks like that I like it I like it I like it all right next oh I've removed this out I'm gonna put this back in my journaling cards all right so next what I want to plan out which I think I planned out mostly I was like why is that not moving I forgot there's a magnet <laughs> I was thinking about not matting this side at all but matting this side with the, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm just going to go ahead. I think, I know, I'm going to just go ahead and trace this out over here on this page. And then I'm going to cut it out. I think that'll be the last time we need that. I'm going to cut it out real quick. I'm not going to ink it up yet because I'm going to plan this out really quick. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to plan it out, and then I can go ink everything up, if that makes any sense. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. This is going to go here. And then I've already got these pulled out because I think that um, I can't decide. I can't decide if I want to put the photo here and this journaling bit here and then this here. You could also add a photo there if you wanted to, right? And then I want to put a five by seven here and then another element. So I have some ideas. Um, let me see with my five by sevens. I went ahead and printed out. This is the basically amazing photo mask. This is an add-on, and um, so far we've only used the grungy wood ones. I know this says text, but that's what um, that's just the uh, that's just the title sheet. I ended up laminating, but they're available in a lot. I'll have that link down below as well. They're in my they're in the basically amazing section in my Etsy shop. I can't decide if I want to do this or this, so I printed out both. So one AC. So I did one in plain and one with um, with this with the wood background, the grungy wood, and then the spot there. You can put a photo there too. So I printed those out, and then I had another idea. Um, and I printed, this is from the Vintage Envelopes and Inserts 
printable envelopes and inserts is set number one. This envelope here, I just printed it onto a paper, regular paper. These are also available in my Etsy shop. Link that down below. That's I'm trying to stick with the set number one. That's what I'm trying to do. I might I might waver a little bit from there, but that's what I'm trying to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this out because I think I wanted to see what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all this out. Um, not this, but I'm going to cut these out and then I'll be right back. All right. So I've got that envelope all that page except for the um the faux wax seals i didn't cut those out but i do have the inserts cut out and this envelope so what i thought would be cute and um i don't know i hadn't actually laid it out yet to have this up here and maybe have that there Right? What do we think? Either that, that, or this. I kind of like that. What do we think? Do we like that? I like that. So I went ahead and cut these out. I don't know why I told you that already. So those are five by sevens. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking. So we're going to put this together, but I want to do a wax seal and a magnet. Oh, but before I do that, I got another new tool. I got another new tool. It is a dress my craft slot corner punch now i want you to watch right okay so there's my faux photo corners and if you don't have the nope so this one if you don't have the we are memory keepers photo photo corner punch where it does the triangle and you're giving this as a gift you take something like this, and I'm going to stick that in there, put it right all, the way, all the way into the corner, chomp it down. Look, it is almost perfect. So, almost. I mean, you don't get that corner bit, and that's okay. So, look, you could then stick your photo up underneath that corner. So, you'd have to be careful when you glue. You'd have to barely, 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 barely glue it down just around those edges, but you could totally, totally do that. So let's just go ahead and do all four corners. So I will link this. I will try to link it in my Amazon, but I will link it. I got it at scrapbook.com, so I will link this down below. So when you put it on your page with your little notched corners, you can't hardly even tell, and then you can just take your four by, let me get a four by six card. Where's that one I just had out? Right, you can just, when, it, when it's attached down to your page, you can just slide these in those little notches. So just like that. So then that's what you would tell the person to do. So this is just like another, like, another option um, for you guys. So I'll go ahead and punch all these corners like that. And then when we glue it down, I'll show you again um, how to do that. So, um, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Oh, I need to stamp. I'm not going to stamp this one, but I am going to stamp these other three with the place photo here. The this is May 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 made it stamp, and it's called Action. And I keep forgetting to link it in my videos. I'm so sorry. Last time I checked, it wasn't in, but I haven't checked in a while. So, so I'm going to go ahead and do this to these. Talk about a time saver and talk about a money saver, right? Especially if you're giving this as a gift or if you're making these and selling them um, at craft fairs or in your Etsy shop or whatever and then I do believe it opens up back here and all those little bits come out totally dig it totally dig it it's a good option I need to ink this up let me ink this up I'm gonna ink this up and I'm gonna ink the edge of this and the inside of this I'm, well, I'm gonna ink this up and then I'll be back I just thought real quickly um, since this envelope is just printed on white paper, 
why don't we take this blending tool here and just add some color to the back side of here. Right? So it does do a really nice job of doing that. Not gonna lie. So now instead of just white, I've got a little bit more of a grungy look. Or vintage look, I should say. So this is gonna go here and this is gonna go here. Well, let's just, I'm gonna start attaching stuff because there's not, I don't need a magnet anywhere back there. So I'm just gonna grab my tape runner here. I mean, this is kind of a simple layout on the inside of here. But since everything was so bulky on the other side of the fan, I wanted to kind of keep this one like a little bit more, um, you know, not so interactive, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and type this one down because this one is not really meant to slide a photo in. You can put a photo on top or do some journaling. So I'm going to stick this up here like this. And then this is going to go up. Oh, that's okay. I meant to put this up just a little higher, but this is going to go here. But I need to use liquid glue because of these notches now. So I need to be super careful that I don't get glue where the photo is going to slide in on these corners. Oops. Super careful. Whoops. And then if you want, you could run some tape right in the middle there. So then I'm just going to lay this down. Hopefully I got it on here straight and straight enough. Right, so we got that. So then when you go to add your photo, you should be able to, maybe not this really skinny paper, just slide it right in that little slot. I'm sure there's other corner punches that are like this. I know they have one that's straight across. This one's kind of curved, which I thought went really nicely. And it actually turned out really perfect almost. Too. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one down. I better let that cool before I add another one. Um, oh, and then let's go ahead and add this one back here. So look, we've got that. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I'm going to glue this envelope together. And literally, it's just you do photo the two tabs in and um, you just want to put glue on those little tabs there. And that's it for that envelope as far as putting it together. I'm gonna ink this up just here more on the sides. So then I thought that I would put this here. So, but look, there's, it's not very much color. It's all stark white under there, isn't it? I could also, I did get some new wax seal, wax beads for my wax seal. I'm gonna need my candle, ain't I? Ain't I? I'm gonna. If I'm gonna use it, I need to um, get it lit. So I wanted to, you could use one of these, obviously, because actually I think both the purple and, because you know, if you think about it, the, the, the uh, bluish color is very much close to purple. It's a bluish, purplish color. It's like a sapphire. It's really pretty, super pretty. So either one of these, either one of these, the purple and the pink will work if you wanted to just do that. Um, add those and that'll just give a little pop of color, right? 
But I'm going to do a wax seal. I don't know if I'm going to do a magnet yet. Yeah, go ahead. Why not? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to the top part here. So just because I don't want it to fight. I don't want the polarization to be off. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure, even though it's probably not going to touch. I just want to make sure. You know, they're probably not going to align. Um, I don't want to put the tape on the right side that, so it doesn't do anything weird. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to add it to the top center of this envelope. Just like that. Let me get this lit now. I did order some more wax beads. Now we've been using this one here and I love it. I'm still going to continue to use it and this is the color. Also got a new wax stamp. Um, it's a new rose but it comes with other things like love and thank you and missing you and stuff like that and it's only like a few bucks more than the rose stamp that I have already in my Amazon list so I think I'm going to switch the, I'm gonna switch it out to this one um, because there's the rose, and the rose, I think, is perfect for this paper collection. But if you wanted to use the rose, just so you know. But I, I'm using the number stamps, remember. the um, Let's do the three this time. Um, where's my handle? Where'd my handle go? Oh, here it is. So I'm going to do the three this time. I did two last time and the one before that. Right, and then um, I got me some new wax beads, and so let's see if we think we might like them. This one's like a purple mix, and this one's like a pink-red mix. So I went ahead and tested them out, right, and then I put little samples on the lid of the different colors. So here is what the hot pink one looks like when it's melted. Oh, here's a, one of those other stamps. See how it says love on there, right? So you could get the rose, you could get the love, you could get the thank you. I don't know, there's a whole bunch, there's six different stamps and it's only a few bucks more expensive. So I don't know, I'm kind of thinking that that's a good deal. And then here is the purpley color. So this is like a sapphire color and then here's like the pink color. So in order to give it um, a pop of color, I think I'm gonna use this purple one. And so that is in this set. Um, I got this on Amazon. I'll put it in my Amazon list and it came really fast. This one. I also ordered another. I got a blue set and a green set, but the blue does not go with this at all. And then the other green one that I ordered hasn't come in yet. So, so anyway, just for variety, I thought it'd be fun to try these out and they do, they, they do melt nicely. So I really like it. So I'm going to use this purple for my wax seal and I'm pretty sure it's this it doesn't look like it would match but it does so yeah that's the right one so again I will link those in my Amazon both the uh, the pinky red variation and the purple variation because I think they're both really pretty all right so now I need to move these I'll move those. Oh, here, I was going to show you a sample. Here's the, one of the uh, uh, scrap of paper. There's the purple, there's the pink, and there's the, um, oh, I can't think of what that's called. Champagne gold is what that one's called. So let me bring it closer to you. So see how nicely everything kind of just goes together? So just for a pop of color, just for some variety, that's what I was thinking about. Let me get my sheet out. And I did grab another um, melting spoon for this because I don't want to, the other one's got champagne gold in it or whatever it's called. There we go. So I'm gonna have to get that to melt. And then I'm gonna pour it directly over, oh, you know why I'm doing that. Let me get a tin cap. I need to put it up underneath here. Uh, let me get my half.
Oh, it's kind of way down there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that in here. And I'm going to put some wet glue over top of it. And then I'm going to let the magnet pull it into place. And then we'll have to open it up and put tape over it so that it doesn't, like, catch on stuff. So, there. Press that just a little. Open this back up. See how it kind of pulled that right into place? All right, let me get my tape out. Probably could have done this before I closed up the envelope, but it is what it is. And I missed. I missed the whole edge, I meant. Now I've got that edge covered so stuff won't grab it. All right, so that is done. I'm gonna pour it right over top of this magnet and hopefully it will, oh, you know what it's gonna do. It's gonna attach, it's gonna attach to that, um, to this. Oh well, and then let's do this. So we're just going to let that sit. All right, I let it sit. Now I need to be careful that the magnet doesn't come. Oh, good. Look, the magnet did not come up with it. <laughs> but you can kind of see the magnet ever so slightly. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. This is adorable. All right, I haven't inked my inserts yet, but I'm going to go ahead and put them both in here. They're great for just writing down all the information you want to remember about all your little photos. All right, let me move. Let me move everything out of the way. Well, we had all kinds of fun new stuff today, didn't we? And then that can go here. So, thoughts do we like? Is that not the cutest? Okay, we're, we're adding it. We're putting it down. And since it's a dimensional thing, I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac by Beacon to get it on there, I think. I don't want it showing through when you open it and stuff like that. So we're just going to use the Fabri-Tac by Beacon. And we're literally going to attach this puppy down. I'm gonna give it a little bit more glue since it's got a magnet and it's an interactive element because you're opening and closing, right? I love that. I love the number stamps too. I can't find them on Amazon. I got those at Hobby Lobby. Let me show you about I got the number stamps at Hobby Lobby, just in case you're curious. So it's zero through nine. The wax seal stamps. This is so cute. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. So we got our sweet little swinging tab. Sweet little swinging. We got our side pocket insert. Open it up. We got our little flip. I love the way that turned out. It's super cute. Place photo here. We've got our full page. You could write on that. And then we've got all of this. You can tuck photo, tuck photo. And then we've got our cute, cute little envelope. Ah, I love it. I love it, you guys. Okay, that is all I have for you guys today. And that will be the end of this fin. So, fin number two is down in the books. So then next week, we will start on fin number three. You guys are going to have to let me know what you're thinking. I'm digging it. I'm loving it. I love the way it turns out. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Turn that bell notification thingy mabob on. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.